Get ready for a new level of luxury travel in Ghana as Tukumasi International Airport undergoes a massive expansion project that will allow it to accommodate the world's largest passenger aircraft, the Airbus A380, as well as become Ghana's second international airport. Kumasi International Airport is currently undergoing a significant expansion project that includes the construction of a new terminal building and railway extension, among other services. Once completed, the airport will have the capacity to accommodate the largest passenger aircraft in the world, the Airbus A380. The expansion project, which is being carried out by Constructor Construction UK Limited, has a budget of £124.9 million and involves the paving of an additional 12,320 square metres of runway, construction of new taxi connections and apron parking stands, installation of an aeronautical ground lighting system and other improvements. The A380, a double-decker aircraft, is one of the most impressive and innovative planes ever built. Its size and capacity are unmatched with the ability to carry 800 passengers on a single flight. The A380 has broken records in the aviation industry, including the longest non-stop commercial flights from Dubai to Auckland, covering a distance of 14,200 kilometers in 17 hours and 15 minutes. It has also set the record for the highest number of passengers carried on a single flight, with 868 passengers on a Korean air flight from Seoul to Atlanta. The A380 has proven to be a game changer in the aviation industry, revolutionizing air travel and providing a unique and luxurious travel experience for passengers around the world. More than 300 million people have traveled on more than 800,000 A380 trips since the plane entered service. After making history with its landing at Kotoka International Airport in Ghana, the A380 is now expected to arrive at Kumasi International Airport after the expansion is completed. The upgrades are being done to increase domestic and international travel in and out of Ghana, boost the aviation sector, allow the airport to accommodate some of the world's largest airplanes. The project also includes the construction of an 11 megawatt substation and a terminal that can handle up to 800,000 passengers annually. In addition, a new bulk utility service will be provided separately from the airport's existing utility services. The first phase of the $29 million rehabilitation project included the installation of aeronautic ground illumination equipment and the rehabilitation of the existing runway. The second phase, with a budget of nearly $75 million, includes the construction of a new passenger terminal and various airport service facilities. This phase will bring the airport up to modern standards and it will include the burden of a new fire station, fire access road and other amenities. The airside improvements will comprise a runway trip enlargement of 202,805 square meters, an apron expansion of 7,731 square meters, and an SI service road. To accommodate the expanded capacity, a new boarding bridge and a large parking lot, each measuring 9,000 square kilometers, will be built. The S380 offers a unique and luxurious travel experience for passengers in both first class and economy class cabins. Despite its large carbon footprint, the N380 remains a passenger favorite because of its innovation, passenger experience, and fuel efficiency. During his visit to the Ashanti region, President Nana Adadakwa Egufuadu praised the quality and quantity of work completed thus far and expressed his satisfaction with the ahead of schedule completion of the project. This means that the project is likely to be completed sooner than expected. If you are amazed by the A380 and how Ghana is working to boost its aviation sector, then you won't want to miss our video on Accra and how it's one of the best cities for foreign celebrities. The vibrant city is full of culture, history and natural beauty that will leave you in awe, from the standard beaches to the bustling markets. So if you're ready to be blown away once again, be sure to check out our video on Accra Ghana at the end of this video. Trust me, you won't regret it. Thank you for watching.